If Sauron can muster beasts alongside Uruks, his war machine will be unstoppable. I do not have time for another one of your hunts, Master Dwarf. Ah, but this is your hunt, Captain. There's a pack of war chiefs just arrived in Noor, call themselves Beastmasters. That does sound like my kind of prey. What do I need to know? I know you're familiar with the Kargors. I taught you everything you know about them. But let me tell you about their cousins from- Torvin, what of the war chiefs? You didn't bring me here just to hunt another wild cat, did you? Just to hunt another. Pay attention, Captain. These Karagaths are a silent, stealthy breed from beyond Noon. And they can sneak up on just about anything. And what's worse, this new beast tamer has been burning the brushlands to the north. He means to capture them and break their will. Twist them into Sauron's war machine. Every war chief is a scourge upon this land. Beastmaster or no, I will end them. Whoa, slow down. First thing we need to do is foil their plans. And I see no better way of doing that than using the very same Karagas against this orcish scum. Show me how to find one of these creatures then. <laughs> Gladly, Captain. There's a Karagath hiding in those bushes. There it is. Go get it. Ah, this beast does look useful. Excellent. Now listen. There's an Uruk camp nearby. That's where they're bringing their captured beasts. I suggest you take your new pet and prowl up to them unnoticed. Not you in the spear before he knows what's in it. Mordor is in no short supply of terrible tales, and few more dreadful than the Black Captains of Sauron. I have never laid eyes on them myself, but their descriptions to me are the stuff of nightmares. A man trapped in perpetual agony in armor that does not grow with him. Another cursed for picking up the mace of Sauron after battle. And the mightiest among them, the Black Hand, is not spoken of in passing in these lands. May my beard grow ever longer ere I cross paths with these villains. I'll stick to hunting fair again. The dwarf shied from the Black Captains as well he should. Only the Black Hand remains now, and I will finish him.
Their plans are in disarray. There's still work to be done to ensure the Uruk never tamed the Karagaths. The war chief. The beast tamer. Aye, that unnatural fiend needs to be put down. To draw him out, use the Karagaths against his war camp. The more Uruk that die by their shadowy bite, the better. I will not let the Uruks exert mastery over these Karagaths. They are too dangerous. It's a Karagore! I'm never lost! It's the keen edge what cuts the mountain, they say. But after days of hacking through Uruk heavy plate and Karagor hide, these blades aren't going to sharpen themselves. Our weapons are extensions of ourselves and demand respect. A well-honed blade sharpened with a genuine dwarven whetstone can make the difference between being a hunter or the prey. My brother Gorvin once took a swing at a Karagor and his axe landed with a thud instead of a slide. He lived to tell the tale and has been sharpening his blade every night since then. There is little more satisfying than a sharp blade removing the head of an orc.
The solitary pass between the Valley of Udun to the north and the Plateau of Gogroth to the south is guarded by the dread, graven image of Sauron himself, with the great kinds of men held subjugated in chains. The rock and steel of this visage inspires no deference in me for the craftsmanship or stonework. And by my beard, I am thankful this is the closest I'll ever come to seeing the Dark Lord. The shadows grow long this evening. I will write no more. I'd have liked to see Torben's face when that statue came tumbling down and Sauron's head crashed to earth. Vicious captains reign over the tribes and armies with ironclad fists. I've dodged more than one pack of foul Uruk on my hunt to these dire lands, and I've stolen glimpses of the right of ascension among these foul folk. Only the strongest and most devious lead, slaughtering their own kind until none stand to oppose them. Brutal, savage, dangerous. And they don't smell very sweet either. Doom keeps this dwarf from the grave. His first death will be his last, and his courage is impressive.
glorious honor. Skog. Worthy game and a respectable trophy you're after. The Caragor roam Mordor in ferocious packs. Quick on their feet and strong to boot, be wary. Their claws are sharper than steel, and I've seen them crush rock hard orc skulls like eggs in their jaws. Even wargs and lions give them wide berth. One look at these beasts and you'll know why the pointy ears have named them Bringers of Fear. First the Karagors, now the Karagaths. How many ways has Mordor to kill a man? Get you. 
I'll skin this category alive. The crowd demands it. Attraction! have amassed a worthy collection of treasure and trophies, heads and hides from all manner of foul beast, and even some lovely trinkets from the Second Age. But the whispered tales of one artifact continue to elude me. The legendary Forge Hammer, used by the Elves to craft the Rings of Power themselves. The hammers I found so far in my hunt have brought me no closer to finding the one I seek. Perhaps the spirit of the elves do not want to see their precious artifact in the hands of a dwarf. Torven will never understand how closely this hammer is bound to our fate, and that of all Middle-earth. Ah! 
Slow moving, but nigh unstoppable, these great beasts appear to be distant cousins of the six-tusked Mumakil. Even a great hunter like myself has never brought down one of these beasts as a trophy. But they're not difficult to track. The very earth shakes under their thundering feet. It's wise to keep on your toes when you're around them so you don't end up underneath theirs. I've seen them rampage and crush orc, troll, and man alike into jelly. I'm surprised Torben isn't trying to recruit me into hunting one of those mammoths. against his war cow. The more Uru can die by their shadowy bite, the better. It's how I get and to the grave of against me? Fine! I will tie you down, disembowel your pathetic guts, and make you feed on yourself. Tamer is dead, and with him, the Uruk's control of the shadowy creatures.
Attention, Ranger! The Butcher sending out extermination parties. They're wiping out every creature they can find. They're brutal killers, a lot of them. An ambitious war chief with a well-trained army. Sounds like a challenge. But if you've told me anything, Master Dwarf, it's that the hunt can always turn against you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that mind of yours, Captain. But you've painted the hook now. Come on, out with it! I will bring a Graub to bear against their forces. I will show them Mordor cannot be tamed. Now that's a plan! Not very military, though, is it? You've been spending a bit too much time with me. But there's uh, one little problem you should know about. Despite all expectations, your problems are rarely ever little, Torben. Yes, well, then this shouldn't surprise you. These troops have already taken down a growl. Or three. You'll need to lure out a rare, wretched growl. A disgusting relative who's adapted to the poison from all the ghouls they eat. Wretched growl? Isn't that a bit redundant? I'm not sure what redundant is, but if it means poisonous, then yes. They are extremely redundant. All right, Master Dwarf. Show me how to lure these creatures out, and I will do the rest. Just a few scouts tangling with those ghouls. They should make easy prey. <laughs> may have lost his ranging parties, but as long as he remains safe in his stronghold, he'll train more of those killers. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs> Even the Uruks fear the monstrosities of Mordor. I must kill the Butcher and keep the Orcs afraid. I've met a 
mysterious man in my travels, a ranger of Gondor, named Talion. Over our fire, I asked after his weapons, impressive in their craftsmanship. A handsome blade, Orphael, has been at his side since his days stationed at the Black Gate, defending the borders of Gondor. But his dagger, Achar, carries a sad tale. It too was once a mighty sword, carried by his murdered son, broken the night he died. Talion tells me Akar means vengeance, and I have a feeling the blade will fulfill the meaning of its name. I have slain countless Uruk, but still I seek vengeance. Training! <laughs> 
trying to prove, eh? All you're gonna do is die! You'd think the sight of a lone peak in the countryside would bring cheer to a dwarf's heart. But alas, that is not so here. Orodruin, the mountain of fire. This volcano stands alone on the plateau of Gorgoroth, but the whole of Mordor seems to dwell in its shadow. It's said Sauron chose this land for his domain because of that mountain. And I hope it suits him. Even dormant, anyone unlucky enough to travel these lands has that hill to thank for choking this acrid air, filling our lungs with ash and our hearts with dread. How long before it erupts once more and spreads its darkness over Mordor? Huh? <laughs> 
Damn these war chiefs. They've caused so much death and destruction. Scavengers are running amok. Just hordes upon hordes of filthy ghouls. Filthy ghouls? I thought all of Mordor's creatures were majestic in their own way. Majestic? Ghouls? Now you stop right there, Captain. They are an aberration. Those filthy little mongrels, hiding underground with their beady eyes, gnawing and biting and scratching and... <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd have thought you'd see eye to eye with the little creatures. Are you... Are you comparing me with a ghoul? Oh, I'm glad this plague of ankle biters makes you laugh. Their numbers are growing out of control. They'll overrun all of Nurn. Well, you do have a point. So how can we curb this disease? There's only one way. We need to drag their vile queens from their nests and cut them down. A ghoul hive without a matron is like a meal without ale. Useless. Just terrible! There was no matron. Aye, not this time. Keep rustling their mounds, though. Matrons will come, I promise you. Yes, this off on the ground and a third arm on his back. Was a full ranger. Oh, so
Good news, Talion. You still haven't matched me for ghouls killed in a single afternoon. <laughs> for once, it is I who has come up short. I'll give you that one, Ranger. But killing this next war chief is going to be a tall order. You see, he rides upon a Graug. You'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. If these ghouls were ever to become more organ... All of Nuren would be infested in short order.
Few things in Mordor cause even the Uruks and Trolls to quake in fear. And one such beast is the rare Horned Graug. Standing nearly five dwarves tall, they're nigh unstoppable juggernauts of wanton destruction. Their very skin is tougher than leather, resistant to even the sharpest steel. If you can get close enough to strike a blow, what I wouldn't give for a mithril blade on my next hunt for these dire monstrosities. I wonder what the dwarf is obsessed over now that his hated Graug is slain. <laughs> Flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. Moss
Flesh. Let's have some fun! Kind of bother we're good at. Managed to tame a grog. I hope I have put a permanent end to such an alliance.
Fortwoven, but could you spare a moment to explain what this is all about? We've got a big problem, Talion. A very big problem. I've never known you to think anything was little, Master Dwarf. Now is not the time for jokes, Ranger. My camp was ransacked. Pilfering Uruks made off with all my blasting powder. I'm my brother's axe. The Uruks have your explosive powder? How did this happen? F -f Forget about that. Didn't you hear what I said? They took my brother's Axe! We'll get your axe, but I'm more concerned about the Uruks with the explosives. Do you even know how the powder works? All I know is that if you put a spark to it, exciting things happen. Surely you remember when we first met? These war chiefs may study it, learn how to make more. We must get it back before that can happen. Track split up here. You follow them to the north, I'll hunt the bastards to the south. Find them quickly, Ranger, before they can hide their new treasures. There's no time to spare. 
I must ride this scum down as fast as I can. Sign of the blasting powder or Torvan's axe. The thieves must have moved that bounty elsewhere. I need to make haste. These thieves must be stopped at all costs. I found the damned Uruk running off with my brother's axe. A small victory. There's no trace of the blasting powder anywhere. Something that valuable, only the smuggler could deliver it to his dark master. It's better blown up and wasted than in their hands. You'll have to track down his couriers and destroy them along with their cargo. find and kill the smuggler and his ink. The blasting powder cannot fall into Sauron's hands. Blasting powder. They will wreak unknown havoc. Make short work of the walls of Minas Ethel. Thank you. 
between you and me now, is there? Good. I will carve you up and deliver your pieces to the corners of Mordor! <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he goes! Let's draw and quarter this time! You open! Ranger! Look at you! You're nothing but a pink skin shrock! You'll never survive in Mordor! Huh? Surrounding! I'm too fast for you! Damn it, I try it! Of an almighty blaze! The smuggler is dead and the blasting powder destroyed. Who knows what could touch? These have averted this day. That's the worst! Unnatural! Filthy! Disgusting! Slow down, Dwarf. What are you ranting about this time? The last of these new war chiefs. He's a... he's a... ghoul keeper. Or somehow he's controlling the little bastards. Worse, actually, I think he's... friends with them. Controlling them? An Uruk commanding a ghoul army? Aye, it's so... so... dirty. What can be done? The ghouls are endless. We can't kill them all. No, but, uh... Oh, shudder to see it. Hate to even think it. But, uh, maybe... Um... Come on, out with it, then. Well, it's just that your power... You seem to be able to control everything. Uruks, Karagors, Graugs... Could you control the little scavengers, too? You would have me control the ghouls as well? Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Well, if by hypocritical you mean brilliant, then yes, it's very hypocritical. Oh, Disgusting. As far as could be <laughs> those redundant ghouls. Just 
start, I suppose. Let's keep going. Oh, I can see them brushing up against you. I can feel them from here. This is a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> but impressive. I think we're ready to end this hunt. The ghoul keeper hides in an infested cave. Stalk in, steal away his pets, and kill him. I didn't consider dominating these creatures sooner. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
wouldn't face me again without a category, eh? You lousy maggot! Are you okay, my 
There is more affectionate than I had anticipated. Not right. Answer me, little dears. You leave them alone, you monster. They're mine. These ghouls are mine! However you've poisoned them, I will suck it out! Babies are better off dead than in your thrall. We will avenge this version of our family. Holly, he's out here. If you're still alive. Stealing away my lovelies enough for you? Oh, I'll tear you apart for what you've done!
Set is over, Tolva. All these foul Beastmaster war chiefs have met their end. We accomplished great things together, Captain. We certainly have our moments, Dwarf. You even managed to do all right around those ghouls. You know, Captain, I think I may have been too harsh on the little fiends. Those scampering monsters might not be so terrible after all. They can have their uses, at least. Will you look at that? You can grow a little. Even if it's only emotionally. Ooh, not your best, Talion. <laughs> well, I should be on my way. Blue Mountains are waiting. Safe journeys, my friend. <laughs>